Hello everyone. My name is Pietro. And I'm about to start a new group called In Search of a Lost Language. This idea came to me yesterday while I was speaking to a, new, a gentleman from England. His name is Malcolm. And while I was interacting with him, my language was foggy. Some terms lost in the clouds. In search of the lost word. Memory flows like a river. Covering time with autumn leaves and the sunrise. Hiding the speech inside a stone cabin in the woods. Echoing in an hollow tree, in an empty web. So this group is going to be called In Search of a Lost Language. By past, by, by the use and customs of my hometown, Amantea, which is a little village or a town in Calabria, overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea. So this is uh, sharing experiences on my town and beyond, villages, towns in Calabria. But the main object is to take off some rust and oil up my language, my English, through sharing experiences with you. And apart from this group, I'm going to try to explore my own dialect and share with you in English. Even so, English is considered a bully language. Uh, everybody wants to join in on the conversation in the bully languages, but there's no reason why the you... bully languages? Well, is that what the, you, you it seems it? these you, English and Mandarin and, and Spanish are gobbling up languages as, 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 as people decide they need to have this in order to assimilate into a culture. Every language has poetry, although it's very different from culture to culture. And as I began to learn about how these languages are disappearing, that kind of poetry is also gone. The entire inner life of a people is disappearing when their language vanishes. And I tried to share with you in English the beauty of my dialect, which is an old language that's on the verge of disappearing. Couldn't you make the argument that it, that it would be better if we all spoke the same language, that we all understood each other? There would be, uh, well, there would be more understanding in the world. Well, I love that argument, and it makes so much sense until you understand what understanding is. You know, language is much more than communication. When we talk about it on the surface, that's what it is. But language is the way we think. And it's a way it's been handed down through generations. If you begin to think in another language, 
that's fine. But if you have to lose the way that your family has been speaking, that's not so fine. That's losing who you are. And when we lose who we are, that's when we become this homogenized consumer of life rather than a citizen who comes from a place and knows who you are. Which I believe has a lot of beauty and treasures hidden within me. Probably the first tourist they've had since the war. Tunner, we're not tourists, we're travelers. Oh. What's the difference? A uh, tourist is someone who thinks about going home the moment they arrive, Tunner. Whereas a traveler might not come back at all. You mean I'm a tourist? Yes, Tunner. And I'm half and half. I hope you enjoy. Ciao.